Here's what you'll need to build this structure. To start the sides, you'll need your two 30 inch pieces, your four 12 inch pieces, and your two 3 quarter inch three way tees. First, you're going to take one of the three way tees and attach two of the 12 inch pieces into each side of the tee. You'll repeat this again with the second tee. Next, you're going to take your 30 inch pieces and attach them into the open ends of your three way tees. You should now have two sides that look like this. Next, you're going to attach the caps onto the ends of the 12 inch pieces. To start the top of your structure, you'll need your 24 inch piece of half inch PVC and your two 90 degree elbow reducers. Take your 90 degree elbow reducers and attach each one to the open sides of your 30 inch pieces that you previously built. Next, you can insert your 24 inch piece into each open end of the elbow reducers to connect your structure or just leave it apart. To build the lever, you'll need two 10 inch pieces and your three quarter inch four way tee. Insert the 10 inch pieces into each side of the 90 degree angle openings. You'll want to be able to have this piece slide across your 24 inch piece. So make sure the holes on the horizontal plane are open. Slide your lever onto the 24 inch piece that goes across the top of your structure. If you would like to add a cut piece of pool noodle to create a larger handle surface, slide that onto the end of one of your 10 inch pieces. To secure your striking implement, you can use Velcro or some sort of tape. Attach your implement to one of the 10 inch pieces or the piece that doesn't have the pool noodle handle. Make sure your implement has enough room to freely swing and doesn't get caught on the floor. The nice thing about this structure is that you can switch out the implements. You can also use it for something like hockey or kicking in soccer. Happy building! Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions.